Can you believe that? I know. I mean, the nerve. Ah! Oh. I mean, I'm definitely over it, but I'm gonna bring it up again. do an intro we know that is impossible for me to do, but I don't think we have that kind of time. I decided that it would be fun to share the entire Christmas collection that I have so far, keyword, so far hauled from our beloved Dollar Tree store. And okay, it's out of control, but we're still going to get into it. So also, I asked you guys, once I started showing you guys like gnome collection and plaid stuff, um, during those like separate individual hauls, I did ask, do you maybe want to see all the things kind of together in a collective haul? And a lot of you actually surprised me. I didn't know there would be that much interest in this and a lot of you wanted this. So this is essentially that video. It could be long and I'm also going to not edit, but we know I'll be awkward enough to edit something out eventually. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm not going to like specifically talk about each item. So I'm just going to grab for the first things that I see, which are the wrapping papers. Um, I really love the Star Wars. It's probably my favorite and I will be using this one. My daughter and I love Star Wars. We actually have a Star Wars movie poster, which I'm up in my media room right now decorating video coming Saturday. Don't forget to click the bell in case you don't have the bell on so that you get notified when I post because we're going to be putting in Christmas movie posters in these. But anyways, we have Star Wars posters. We have the newer version with like Kylo Ren and things like that. But then we have my old school version, our, you know, mostly our uh, versions with um, Han Solo and Luke and Leia and all that. So anyways, so the point is my daughter and I love Star Wars together and I'll be wrap, wrapping some gifts with those. And then, you know, just all of the other cute little wrapping papers this year, most of them are, at least the ones that I have, are all from Hallmark. So I don't know that I have yet to pick up any that are strictly from Dollar Tree. But I'm also trying to remember, does Dollar Tree even do wrapping paper or has it always been a hallmark in the past. I think the Charlie Brown is super cute. By the way, I think it's a must grab for a dollar. Um, so I love that one. And then these are not opened, but I think we can pretty much get the gist on some of them. We've got a cute little Santa. We've got this plaid, which the plaid is perfection. It is from Hallmark, it has the Hallmark label here. But this plaid is so good, you guys, and uh, I'd scoop this up if you're into plaid. Then we have a buffalo check pattern, and then this cute little peppermint pattern. I don't know why, but I, I really love it. I mentioned it in the original video that I was just like really drawn to it, but I don't know what it is this year. I'm, I'm being drawn to those bright Grinch-like colors, which I've always steered away from. Honestly... In this collection video, you think I would have put things into their prospective collections. I didn't do that per se. Um, so there's that, but he, you know what? Maybe I'll just dig through this stuff while we chit chat. But here, let's just basically, let's stay with the wrapping. Here are the gift bows that I got. I really love the green this year. And then I got a package of the red and then these red bows, which I really, really love these. Honestly, sometimes I think the bow selection at Dollar Tree is better than the ones from like Walmart. I don't know why, why I think that. All right, let's stick to the wrapping section. So I'll show you guys all of the gift tags that I have picked up so far. I think they are looking pretty promising this year. Um, a lot of really amazing options. This one, do not open until December 25th, is everything. 
And then these, which Dollar Tree has done for quite a few years now, they have this little, um, they're pretty big. You kind of, you open them to write in there, but they're decorated on both sides. And yeah, so we're getting like Buffalo check. So that's part of a collection. We're also getting plaid, which I really, really love this one. The trees is really cute. We're getting a lot of like blue, snowy themes as well. So I love that. And then these aren't part of Christmas, but I pick these up every year because they're my favorite to wrap with. Plus you can add embellishments, which I've done and shared on my channel years past. I add little like ornaments to the gift bag as a tag, which is really cute. And I like these because they have that rustic farmhouse look to them. So I really love them. They're always available all year round at Dollar Tree. And then their gift boxes this year have really caught my attention. Um, these in particular, because I don't think they've ever done this size before. And I really love all of the detail details that they've been adding to them. Like this one's really cute. I know there's a lot going on, but I just love the postal look and the letter to Santa. And then that inside, love it. Here's this one, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all, but I love that. And then the bottom of all the boxes are just plain white. Here is this pattern, a good old traditional Christmas pattern. And then here are some more. Yeah, this size is really interesting, especially if you're maybe thinking about doing a tumbler or something that's like personalized, like personalized drink cup or something, which I love those gifts, by the way. Um, maybe you like you're ordering from Etsy, you could put those in these. I feel like they some um, tumblers or whatever could fit in these boxes. So I think it's a really good size. And then I have all of these as well, just a good classic square. And you get a two piece in these. So I haven't opened them because we can see the print basically on both sides. I love this one and I mention this every time, but I really love the nighttime scene in the back. Um, so those are typically my favorite. And then here is this one. Also, I feel like in the original video, I remarked about this background and I said something about it and I was just like, wait, what? Did I call it a blanket or something? I don't remember what I called this, but anyway, so love that. And then here's that blue again. So you're seeing those colors coming through as a collection. And then this one, which I got doubles of, which actually I opened so that we could see Santa a little bit better and I loved this one. I raved about it in the original video. There's that buffalo check. I mean, look at this moment here. You know what I'm saying? Like absolutely, they hit it out of the ballpark and I love how vintagey he looks too. And then the one that comes with him is the snowflake. So I got set two, two sets of those and oh, still on the gift wrapping and then these are little loot bags um you could use these as gift bags too these would be really cute maybe not in a secret santa unless you use tissue paper to hide the present but um these would just be really cute to give a gift a mug filled with candy just anything would be really cute and then this one is my favorite with all the snow i think the snow for some reason really got me on this and then they even printed the sides. Like what? So the loot bags are super cute. I love these. And also these would be pretty cute maybe to bake some cookies and drop them off. Not like a traditional cookie bin, which we'll get into those, but just throwing that idea. And then you know how I am, oh my gosh, with gift bags. Like you just know. So here they all are together. This one is not my favorite to be honest. I don't know, something about all this at the bottom took away from the truck. I think it was the yellow. I mean, I love yellow, but still I just feel like as a print, it just was a little busy for me. I love this one. And the size of this is crazy. And that's the other thing, right? You go into Dollar Tree and this is a dollar. This is also a dollar. So yeah, so there's that. 
and love that. Then they have a collection that looks like this. So here's the other one, so you can kind of see them together. You can see they did that little like wood circle thing. And it says happy on this one and merry on this one. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Really cute, I love the barn. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, but as I was editing the original video, I was like, that horse is in plaid. Look at him. Oh, okay. And then the sides are just plain. I don't even remember looking at this, so maybe I didn't show it in the original video. So. Um, and then here is this option, which I really like the snowman. Super cute. I love the trim. See, I feel like this is different. There's a lot going on here, but it all just works. And then there's this, which I just don't think works in the same way, if that makes sense. So I don't know, that's just, that's just my opinion. And then here's this set, which um, you can clearly see that they were a little design trio. And I think they look like stamps from far away. Like this trim looks like a stamp, but it's not. Just to show you up close. And each of these are a nighttime snowy theme. They either do black or they'll do like a dark blue and navy to indicate, you know, a nighttime landscape, which I love. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. You've got Santa. Oh, the thing about these bags is they get stuck in those little clips. You've got the snowman, which he looks really cute. I love how many trees they added and I love how somehow they kept the landscape simple. They didn't add any words to this and I really like that sometimes you know it's just nice to have a variety and the deer with the scarf like yes let's see what they did on the side the same thing sometimes they'll do a print and then sometimes they just do a continuation of that you know the front image and then let's see we've got this one which I mean it was a dollar at Dollar Tree absolutely nuts and then my favorite, which was the Candy Cane Lane. I don't know why it's a favorite, but I just really have been loving candy canes lately. And then we've got, you know, the holiday truck. I got two of those and super, super pretty. And then here are these options that have more of a like brown paper bag. And I really fell in love with the little gingerbread village. So I know I'm flying through this, but honestly, at the same time, I feel like I'm spending maybe a little too much time, but that's because we have so much to get through. You can see the Buffalo check, but don't forget all of this has been in their own individual hauls. And then all of the um, gift tags, which I showed in detail in the video, which wasn't, this one wasn't too long ago. I feel like this was pretty recent. I love this one and the gingerbread. Probably my favorite out of all of them was this one. And then here's a more traditional one. And a really fun whimsical one. This one reminds me of the Grinch, the new version with the little cartoon, um, the animation or whatever, super cute. And then here's this one, which I love the camper. I love the camper one. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so I did organize everything into their sections, and I believe that's it from a wrapping perspective. Now let's get into some of the containers. So I have all of them here together. And actually, I think maybe there's another one that I did something else with. So I don't know that I have them all together, but these are a two-pack, and I love these. These are also a great way to do like a little mini gift basket. Um, or just um, to put like a gift inside. You could just use, use tissue paper to hide it. The red is really cute, it has all the, the Christmas words on there. And then the green one says, tis the season. You can see there's a deer on there. And then here is this version with the matching. So love that. These, you know, you could bake, put brownies, cookies, all the things, or you could actually use them as storage. You know, you could put really delicate ornaments in here. I've actually, I actually do that with 
um, my storing. I use a lot of Dollar Tree containers like this to organize. And then we have some of the metal containers. I feel like I have more or maybe I didn't have more, but I definitely feel like some things got sorted before I realized I wanted to do this video. So we might not be seeing absolutely every item, but this one blew me away because I love the cover that says the North Pole on there. And then these were really cute too. I mean, for a dollar, the Santa one is my absolute favorite. Um, I'm definitely pulling him aside because I'm going to use him to like put a gift in for my niece or something. Maybe the, maybe the penguin for my niece and like Santa for my daughter. So I think those are absolutely darling. And then I have this, which in the video I showed you guys that I, that I was storing some additional like Christmas goodies in here. But this bin is from this year. As you can see, it says Merry and Bright. I know I have stuff in there, so it's kind of hard to see actually. But this is actually how I use these and I love them for my craft room. They're a nice, good size. Um, where can I, I'm like literally running out of room to put things down. So I believe that's it from a container perspective, but I feel like there's more stuff in other places. Okay, let's get into, oh no, here's one. My favorite one of all, the little peppermint. Um, I talked about in that video like putting candy and doing all kinds of cute things. That's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go to like one of those specialty candy shops in the mall and then, you know, fill it, fill a bag up with goodies and then put that little bag in here. Maybe put tie a little bow and it would be really cute. So that's what I'm going to do. And honestly, I might do that for myself and it will go under the tree. Most likely we'll do that. Um, because I'm the only person I know that loves candy this much. So anyways, um, okay, we're talking about candy. You know what? Why don't we go into um, a couple of my favorite candy things. Now, I should have gone on downstairs and grabbed the recent stuff I hauled because there's a bag of peppermint candies that I love so much. But I moved them into the kitchen um, because I'm going to use it for my gingerbread stuff. So... And we all know I'm not going to get up and go get it. But anyways, this is what I have upstairs. And these are the wooden chocolate spoons. These are a must pick up for a dollar. Um, if you're going to do any sort of hot chocolate, this would be cute to do as a gift basket. Maybe you do a mug. Some um, Dollar Tree sells a box of Swiss packets. Um, you could open up the box and maybe include a couple packets in the gift basket grab you the chocolate spoons put those in there don't forget the fireside marshmallows from dollar tree they are everything they're the best marshmallows in my opinion on the planet and there you go there's a gift and then this little chocolate lollipop with rudolph the red-nosed reindeer it's so cute so incredibly cute and I definitely have to do that basket idea now that I said that out loud. I'm going to do a hot chocolate gift basket. Okay, um, while we're kind of in the food section, we have these ice cube trays. They're like the silicone. And I don't know if you can see, turning them around this way, I think it makes it easier to see the image that you would get from the ice cube trays. What? How stinking cute is that? Definitely going to be making ice cubes this way and i'm sure you could also like put all kinds of other things in here too from a food perspective i don't know comment down below what you what else you would use silicone stuff for but maybe jello stuff like that i don't i don't really know um so those are awesome and new this year from dollar tree okay where do we where do i possibly go next Let's get into some of the decor signs. Um, my favorite, and I'm just gonna pull them out because I have to, are these. I just, my mouth fell open in the store when I found them. Santa is, I just love the whole image. And I don't know if you can tell, but they made him look weathered, which is such a cool effect. And then the Christmas trees, which I immediately thought of doing some sort of DIY. 
and but these are also really cute you could get a couple and like line your you know walkway or whatever with outside i don't know but i love those signs for a dollar i thought they were absolutely epic and then we have these options that are like the little like wood chips for diy purposes you know if you're trying to keep the kids busy girl get them one of these get them some paint put down a blanket and let them go to town that's what i let my niece do um here is the mary and bright which if you caught my halloween diys i did a one similar where it said happy halloween i painted it white so that it would look like chalk paint and then i just temporarily put it on a chalkboard and it looked like i had handwritten it you know and it was just an easy way to you know add some handwriting to a chalkboard especially if you don't like your own handwriting um, mine i feel like changes all the time every day either i have a good day or have a bad day um but i feel like i have more bad handwriting days than good are you guys the same way or is your handwriting consistent um here's let it snow so those are those options here is this santa i felt like i asked you guys if this was new or not and i think one of you actually said this was out last year and i'm like yeah i'm like prob probably was but the santa is very vintage i love that and then we have this little santa s or s frosty the snowman and it says there's snow place like home that's what really caught my attention on that sign and then this i think is what started it all was the gnome stuff so i'll go ahead and get into the gnome stuff real quick but they've done pretty much an entire collection and i believe i did get the mugs but i failed i failed in this collection video but i think those are downstairs too i think i already washed them put them up in the cabinets and completely forgot um but here is the kitchen products so we've got the towel the pot holders and then the cute little sign and they've done the ornaments as well so here's the full little collection um other than the mug comment down below and let me know what i'm missing i never saw my store carry the oven mitt only the towel and only the pot holders um do i have the full collection other than missing the mug or or what so there's the gnome stuff did i show you guys all the gnome stuff that i have i, I feel so i feel like i did and this one is my absolute favorite sign I don't know what it is about this. I actually talked about in the in the original video. There's somebody I follow on Instagram, Crumpets Home Decor or something like that. And they make their own decor. They have like their own website and the stuff is gorgeous. And the Santa sign just gave me that, that vibe. But he was a dollar. And I love like the bubbly effect of his beard too. And I don't know. It's just... All the details are so good and I love that they did that on the hat I think that if it was just a red hat I don't think it would be you know as whimsical so I love that and then they did like the little tabletop decors as soon as I saw Dollar Tree post their Christmas stuff on their website I saw these and thought Lord please let me find these and the Lord did answer that prayer oh this Santa is identical and I just realized that. How cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. So cute. Okay, so that's it from a Dollar Tree Christmas sign collection. Let's jump in real quick to some cute little books. I had to include this in this video just because I definitely think they are. 100% without a doubt worth every dollar. They have that Where's Waldo concept and you just have to do a seek and find for the objects and then when you open inside the book it tells you on each page what you're supposed to find. So you can see there's your list and that's what you find here and then as you turn the page you get a new list. My, I can't wait for my niece to see these. She has yet to see these and I feel like I feel like it's going to be a hit. So there's that. All right let's dive back into kitchen stuff um the t 
tapestry placemat. Why, why did that word just all of a sudden seem foreign to me? But there's that. Here's the buffalo check. So part of all of that buffalo checkness they got going on, you know, we're seeing it. Um, I think this is more of a gingham-y plaid than buffalo check, but we're definitely seeing it in stuff like this, you know? Um, and then we've got this. They did a full buffalo check collection of stockings and these hats. And I think this, I mean, it feels, you know, like it's cheap and that's fine because it was a dollar, but it doesn't look it, in my opinion, through the camera lens. It really, I mean, this kind of flops. It's kind of a little sad, but I bet if you kind of filled this at the top, it would stay up a little bit better, but really cute. And then again, here's the placemat. So love those. And then because I just showed you guys some ornaments, let's just go ahead and dive into the ornaments. These two are super cute. Um, they could be gift tags as well, like I mentioned. Like, just kind of imagine doing this concept. Wait, let's get the full effect here, shall we? Oh my gosh. So cute. And it's shaped like a gift tag. So there's that. Absolutely love that. Here's this combination, just in case you want to see it. Really cute. But let's, let's see it with the red bag. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Super adorable. Um, and then I remember, I think these were the first ornaments I showed you guys. They have that Christmas sweater look to them. These are definitely brand new. Got a couple of those. Oh, here's another one with Santa. Oh, yes. I remember loving the green and black buffalo check. Oh, love it. As a matter of fact, when I was planning this media room, I actually toyed with the idea of doing black and green buffalo check, but you'll see how you'll see the color selection I ended up going with. And to finish off the ornaments, these are actually kind of hard to show. I should just take the the tags off of them because I feel like they, yeah, it's just they're and you know it's going to be a pain to kind of because they've got the staple. But they did a little ballerina moment, and I was shook. I did not expect this whatsoever. And each ballerina is in like a different position. Like, look at her. So beautiful. They're wearing point shoes. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe this was hanging in at Dollar Tree. And then probably my favorite ornament of all of them. I don't actually use blue, but this one makes me want to do a whole blue theme in my house. This one ornament ins makes me inspired to just change everything I'm doing. I just think it's really pretty and really special. And then we have this one that kind of looks like the gnome. It's like a gnome Santa. Isn't it cute? Super cute. And did I, did we go through all the ornaments? Well, okay, so technically these are labeled as decor, but I'm gonna use them as ornaments. And I think they are so cute. Now, this is what the front is supposed to look like, but I think this side looks a lot better in my opinion. So I'm gonna just flip them around and do this. I can also just kind of remove and pluck these little things off. They come off pretty easily. And so I got a bunch of these. And I just think they're adorable. Plus, I think these will look cute too. Maybe just one in a tear tray if you're into that and maybe your colors are gonna be like very candy cane, red and white kind of thing. A little Santa hat at the top, maybe hanging in a mug would be really darling. So I got those, here's another one, I think I got five of those. Here's another piece of decor, cute little red trucks. And at, at this point I feel like I'm doing random bits of decor for you guys. Did I show you these snowflakes? Were they in a haul? But I love these snowflakes. If there were more, I would have picked up more. I think these would look really cute in my um, in my library. Why why does it hurt my hips to sit on the floor? And why is that thought depressing? Um, okay, here is another Christmas kitchen towel while I go through midlife crisis in my brain. Um, 
I remarked that I think this should be a decor towel because there is like chunks of glitter in here and I just wouldn't want to, you know, you know, I just wouldn't use it as a hand towel or a dish towel or anything. I would just use it as decor. So I love those. And then we've got some socks and these are epic and everything. You guys know I love gingerbread stuff and I love that they did black as the background. Ugh. So freaking cute. So I got two of those. I love Dollar Tree socks. I still wear all of mine. Um, here's another piece of random decor. It's just a little camper. I remarked in the original video some aspects of it. I feel like are really cheap. Like this window. Like the window just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I think the wreath is absolutely adorable. I mean, they went all out. Like they made a little wreath. They put little bulbs super cute so i love that and then these also are pretty amazing as well like whoa oh it's stuck and you know you know i'm gonna be here forever trying to oh my god how did how does that even happen oh i got it got it so we've got a little, little gold set they did silver i believe you can put your little tea light in there. I also thought of my library for this and then the green, but you can obviously spray paint it. Whatever color is in your color wheel. So those are pretty cool. So I love those. Right now, honestly, at this moment, I'm wondering if I need to do a part two because there are tons of other bags in front of me. You know what, let me show you a couple of other things that I feel like should just be shown immediately. And this was brand new. So if you didn't catch my latest Dollar Tree haul, um, they put out a new dinnerware set and I pretty much raved about it. I mean, I feel like all the products um, that I show you guys, I love. I know I haven't done a hell no segment in a while. I kind of need to, but I feel like they did really, really good here. Look how gorgeous this looks. I think this isn't the first time, this is just my opinion, but we all know how my memory is. But I feel like this is the first time we've seen a dinner plate and a side plate combination that, that they just nailed out of the ballpark. Just to show you guys. I mean, I think that was the right way to do it. Usually Dollar Tree can do this thing where they take one print that looks like this and they'll use the same exact print on everything else. Like plastering, tis the season here, tis the season here, you know, kind of thing. But I feel like this was the first time that they really knew when to scale. And, and that's me assuming that Dollar Tree designs, which I don't even know if they honestly do. They could just be buying from a wholesaler, which I know they do for some things because I'll end up going to Walmart and I'll find this, either the same exact items being sold at Walmart or the same exact print being sold at Walmart, but like on a different product, if that makes sense. So I know there's wholesalers involved, but... Why does, why does that even matter? Why am I trying to figure out some sort of mystery to the design? I'm just saying, typically when it comes to seeing stuff at Dollar Tree, they take prints and repeat over and over on items. Okay, anyways, I feel like I definitely went through a ton of stuff. Thumbs up, let me know if you want a part two. Um, but But there could be a chance that we may not we may not visit that and just continue on with all of the new Dollar Tree hauls. But if I do see a huge, huge request, I will definitely do a part two because there's a lot of stuff. We haven't, I haven't shown you guys all of the Christmas cards, um, all of the, the village sets, um, all of the windows cling stuff that are my absolute favorites. Plus I pulled out 2019 so that we could do a comparison. But I just feel like It'll be a it'll be a 40 minute video and I can't do that to you. So anyways, we're gonna stop here. Hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you need that part two in your life and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget Saturday will be the decorating of this room and I'm so, so excited. Um, and then next week will be the decorating of the living room. So it's all coming along very quickly and I can't wait to share all that with you guys. But as usual, Dollar Tree hauls, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. I always have to think about it for some odd reason. 
four days a week, I do Dollar Tree hauls. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.